Hi guys, it's Anna Lunchbox and this is a quick preview of Must Have iOS. I'm going to quickly run through the tutorial that comes packaged with it just so you can see the functionality you can add to your game with access to the iOS UI kit. Instead of trying to mimic the UI kit behavior, Must Have iOS lets you use it directly. Not only can you use it directly, but you can use it with C Sharp right in Unity using Unity objects and data types. So here is a tutorial built out on a device with iOS 7. Let's turn this on and I already have it built on here so let's just open that up. So we get to our first screen it says show view controller. It's just going to show a basic view controller with the view in it. So boom, see that? It slides up and there's a button in the middle that says dismiss me. So you can dismiss that. Uh, and now the second step is show view controller with a custom background. So this is just made with a texture 2D um, with read write enabled settings so here we have our custom background with the same button dismiss me inside it now we go to our next step it says add a custom button so this has a custom button using read write enabled textures um, it says dismiss version 2 so let's dismiss that um, and then we can add a label in the next step so here you can see it says press either button. And so our next step is a little more complicated. Right now we're getting into view transitions and animations. So here we're going to add a second view with a transition between. You can see the button now says transition. Uh, so we click that and transitions to a second view. We can go back and here we're back to our first view. So let's dismiss. The next step, we're going to add a third view with different transitions. So here, transition to the second view, uh, and then the third view says check under me. And now this button is actually programmed to skip all the way through the animations back to the first view. So skip to first, it takes us back. So let's dismiss that. Uh, and now, this is for advanced users. Um, is an alternate animation method. Um, basically you can customize your animations here. So here I included one so it just zooms out and then fades away. And then the next step is adding a picker view. So this I added a three column picker view so you see one, two, three of colors, shapes, and data types. So basically you can just scroll through these and pick whatever and you can get the result back in unity uh, in fact in our next step we're going to show a text view that shows the results of the picker view so here we already have it say color blue shape circle type string so let's change that and once it settles it's going to say color yellow sh uh, shape donut and type int so now we want to dismiss that. Let's go to the next step and how to use a navigation controller. These just basically pop view controllers on top of each other and push them and push them. So here we have the title bar title of our view controllers, page one. Let's click the left a bar button item. Let's go to the next page. So now we're on page two and it automatically shows uh, a button that goes back to uh, the previous page. So let's just press that. We're back here. Press done. We dismissed it. So now into our next step, which is iPad only, is how to use a popover controller. This basically just makes a view controller into a smaller segment. So you can see here we're going to have it originate from this actual button. So you can have it originate from a box or anything on your screen. So we have that, and you can see it's still using the same navigation controller that we were using before so we can still use the same functionality there as well so I had to switch over to the iPhone since it's just a little more visible when we get to the alert views now um, so this part of the tutorial we have show basic alert view very simple simple alert view simply done so we'll click OK and our next step is show basic action sheet so you click this, 
and there's our simple action sheet comes up at the bottom and with all these uh, it's not just UI you're able to get back the actions from them so show an advanced alert view so we're going to show you how to show a bunch of uh, social sharing options uh, this is just an example so here is an example of it actually working with something so Facebook it opens up Facebook for you um, that's actually probably going to take a while so let's just go back MHIOS um, and now let's go to the next step uh, show an advanced action sheet so here here's an advanced uh, action sheet doing the same pretty much the same thing um, you can also cancel out of this by just clicking here so that's a tutorial of MHIOS um, it's a great supplement to your games. I hope you get it. All right. Bye.